you're going to make Josh Mack do to the stat, to the uh, game packages, you now have places in Lion basketball history all your own. How many more are you going to get? Oh, gosh. I don't know. All I can think about right now is when the heck is Rose going to get back. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a long five days, but, man, we're just I'm, I'm so proud of our group. Um, you know, it's what we talked about in the locker room just now. That there's just not a lot of teams that they could have done what they just did. So, you know, really proud of those guys and, and just, just proud of this weekend that we were able to get through. Talk about how different and yet how similar this game was to yesterday's. Uh, different cat. I mean, the players were the same, but who had the big day and who didn't changed up quite a bit over the course of this one. Walk us through that. I mean, that's that, that's how our team's set up. I mean, you know, it's set up where any guy can can have a good night for us, um, as long as we're playing basketball the way we want to play, as long as we're sharing it and that ball's popping and moving and finding the right person. Um, it, and, and that's that's just the way our team's set up. <clears throat> Dante Adams, I got to go to him. He's he's quickly becoming one of my faves, Coach. Yeah. Uh, Eleven points on back-to-back days. That's not quite the same as back-to-back twenty-one pointers out of Demarcus Demonia. Uh, <laughs> that skeen ended, but he still had a good afternoon. But Dante Adams is a pretty good get for you off the bench now. Oh gosh, just just the energy, the intensity he brings to the floor. Um, I, I mean, we couldn't have made we couldn't have done this without him. Um, he's been huge. He's been rebounding the basketball. He's so active with his hands. He gets deflections and steals, and he's just a big-time energy guy for us off the bench. He's been wonderful, and I can't say enough about DeMarcus Demonia. I mean, just, just his leadership on our team and his ability to score the basketball, uh, I just can't say enough about DeMarcus. I'm so proud of him. You know, talk a little bit about He comes from a part of the world that very few people here are familiar with up in Maryland uh, in their basketball scene, uh, but well, – how did how does this guy end up in Commerce America? <laughs> well, you'd have to uh, ask our uh, is that a Ted guy, to, uh, Coach Rawlings? Yep, Coach Rawlings developed a relationship with him uh, about a year ago, and, uh, and and just really did a good job with him uh, getting him here, and, and and we're just so happy things worked out that way, um, and, and just really again just really really excited uh, for the future uh, for Demarcus, and and proud of him for the weekend he just had. Tell you what, TED Talks are working here, man. Hey, Karius Key had to give you a load of minutes, and he was handling the rock for you, too, when Devin Bethley got in early foul trouble. How about his day? Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of times, you know, your, your starting point guard, especially one that's the caliber of Devin and what he means to our basketball team, you know, anytime a guy like that picks up uh, three fouls in the first half, um, you know, it makes you a little nervous, but... You know, that's something we talked about at halftime. Karius Key came in the basketball game, got us into offense every single possession, uh, didn't turn the ball over, and, and just got us in into our offense. And, uh, you know, we, we wouldn't have had this victory without Karius coming in the game and doing what he did on, on both sides of the ball, defensively as well. Rebounding today went a lot better for A&M Commerce, I believe, at the end of the day. Let's see, 32 to 28, A&M Commerce in front of Tyler Yesterday it wasn't quite the same way. How did you get the early jump on the boards? You know, we, something we talked about going into the game, uh, you know, we really wanted to make sure that we were defensive rebounding. Finishing possessions with two-handed rebounds um, is what we talked about going into this game. And, you know, we showed flashes where we did that, and then when we, we showed flashes where we didn't throughout this game. And that's just that, that's a part of this team that we, we've just got to mature. Um, and, and hopefully that's something that we can we can start working on getting back to practice, uh, b- being more consistent with our effort and our intensity. All right. Any other numbers jumping out that uh, meant something to you? I was surprised that Tyler did so well scoring today off of turnovers at a 21 to 12 edge. That, that's normally a place where the Lions excel. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, the, the numbers that stand out to me is we went 16 for 16 from the free throw line. And yeah, that's that something, helped. That's something that we've struggled with all year. So not sure where that came from, but hopefully we can keep that uh, keep that rolling right there. Well, Coach, that's a school record as best as is understood. Josh Mack did a little digging. <laughs> and you have to go back to 1970. Oh, wow. That was when nine-year-old Charlie Chitwood was rolling the roost. <laughs> and let me tell you, out in Alpine, Texas at Sol Ross, 
The Lions hit 14 out of 14 that day. Okay. And today's the new mark. Congratulations on any kind of record-setting performance. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. All right. Hey, man. So next up, uh, you get you, you. I know you want Rose back, but you, until he shows up, you got to keep working. And Angelo State's coming up next. Yes, sir. Hopefully our guys can get off their feet. We're off tomorrow. Uh, just need to take care of our bodies, and then we'll be back to work uh, next week ready to go. You know, the way the season's gone, how big of an accomplishment was it to you to finally get a weekend sweep of a team? Yeah, I mean, that's that's something I told the guys in the locker room. I mean, we're on a three-game winning streak right now. You know, we kind of built off uh, the win with, with Arkansas Fort Smith on Friday and then building off yesterday uh, tonight. And so we're, we're seeing progress. Guys are starting to learn and understand what we're trying to do. We talked about the quarantines yesterday. We've, we've been in four quarantines. And we've lost a lot of time, you know, get, getting these new guys in, into gear with what we're trying to do on both sides of the basketball. And, and you're finally starting to see that growth and that development with our team. And it's exciting. And, and we know we got a lot of work ahead of us, but uh, we're, we're ready to keep this thing rolling. A little bit more fun when there are a few bodies here in the field house, right? <laughs> yes, sir. And that Lion Pride band, don't you love having to talk louder in a timeout because uh, they're here? Oh, they're the best. They're the best. It's so nice to see the fans out there. And can't say enough about the band and, and, and our fans here at Commerce. All right. Well, Coach, again, congratulations. I think that Coach Rose left us in good hands in his absence. And <laughs> uh, whether you are in the driver's seat or – doing the navigating we'll look forward to seeing you next week in san angelo all right sounds good thanks for having me all right